So, number 18. Select the following species, which is trigonal pyramidal. We've got BEF3, CL3, 1 minus, SO4, 2 minus, ClO4, 1 minus, and ClO3, 1 minus. Okay? So, for trigonal pyramidal, you guys remember that our central atom, whatever it is, needs to have three bonds and one lone pair. Okay? So basically, in all of our systems, we need to produce that. So let's go through them. We've got BEF3. BE would be singly bound to a bunch of Fs. But if we put this lone pair on it like that, the problem is that because BE is element number 4, this one doesn't work. It would require it to have p orbitals, which it does not. So we couldn't produce this anyway. The best we could possibly do is this, which is actually trigonal planar. So that one's not right. Let's go over the next one. Cl3, 1 minus. This would be Cl to Cl and Cl. I think that's what it is. 1 minus? Yeah. Cl is in group or is in period 3. So it can have P's and, this, and possibly D's too. The problem is, we don't even have to go any further than this because we don't have enough things to actually create three bonds from the central atom. So we can skip doing this completely. Okay, what's next? Uh, SO4 2 minus. O, O, and O. Right? For one thing, this one right away also I don't even have to go any further because it has more than three bonds. So this one's wrong already. The next one is ClO4-1-. minus. That one also, for the same exact reason, because it has four bonds potentially, is wrong. But let's look at this last one. Cl, O, and a 3-. minus, Right? Now because, in this case, oxygen is slightly more electronegative than chlorine, if we had a negative charge, it would typically be present on the oxygens. But due to resonance structures and so forth, it would never stay localized on any single electron. Also, because oxygen is in group 2, it's typically going to only have 8 electrons because it doesn't have any d orbitals. Right? I say typically because there are rare, rare exceptions, but we're not going to worry about that. In fact, I actually, never mind, correct that. There are no exceptions as far as we're concerned. So, if we put electrons around this whole system, we would effectively create 1 minus, 1 minus, and 1 minus, potentially on here, and then this would be 4 plus, or no, this would be 1, 2, 3, we would have to put some lone pairs on here, but that's not the correct charges. So, let's try the opposite. Let's put double bonds on all of our oxygens and see what we can do from there. Right? So in this case we have three bonds. These are all going to have two lone pairs which makes them neutral when we calculate our formal charge. But now our chlorine doesn't have enough electrons. It's only got six. So if we put a lone pair on it, now it's got eight. And when we calculate the formal charge, it'd be seven minus eight equals negative one. Right? So in this case, this is a potential system where we've got three bonds and one lone pair, which give us trigonal pyramidal. So our correct answer for that would be ClO3-, which is number five.